Yo, 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 yo. Today is Monday, like the 20, yeah, 26th of April, I believe. I'm probably gonna upload this on Tuesday or Wednesday, but today is my first day back after vacation, you know, recording, editing, streaming, doing the doing all the things that I do to put content out there for y'all guys to watch. The, the reason why this video is being made is because while I was on vacation on Twitter, there was like a there was an entire there was an entire tournament that that's ran by let me look up the name of the I think it's YouTube Rap Hub. Yeah, yeah, YouTube Rap Hub at YT Rap Hub on Twitter. Follow that page on Twitter. It's all about reactors and like the community that surrounds reactions and, and hip hop reactions on, on YouTube. It's a Twitter, it's a Twitter account just for that. And while I was on vacation, I had no idea this was gonna happen, but he, but the tournament happened, started while I was on vacation. It's And I was seated very low. I think the seating was based around subs. I'm not too sure if it was or not, let me find it. But while I'm finding it, I'm basically making this video to thank everybody that participated participated in that because we went from seated very low and obviously Shaq is is probably the number one reactor in general in terms of popularity we were from seated very low to being head to head against him in this rap tournament bracket and obviously this isn't any kind of like official poll or anything it's obviously biased toward twitter users if you don't follow me on twitter it's in the link in the description i dropped some gems son but anyway it's not official but we went one round one round two round three quarter final semi-final we went six rounds and we went up against we went up against people that have either right about the same amount of subscribers or much more subscribers. So the people we went up against, and obviously follow and subscribe to these people, especially if you're someone who don't know who they are and you like reactions and, and it's just like, it helps build the reaction niche community of YouTube. But we got Ambivert Devil, we, we, we uh, passed the first round against him. And then in round two, we beat RVA Official, which basically Rebecca Vocal Athlete. If you don't know Rebecca, she's a, uh, I think she's a vocal coach on YouTube and she has very, very popular videos especially for singers like Justin Bieber 21 pilots you know uh, just it's a whole different type of niche whenever you're talking about someone who does something professionally and has a fan base based off of that validity of her channel that that she does this vocal coaching for a living so we beat her let me find out exactly how many subscribers she has yo so rebecca vocal athlete she has 1.16 million subscribers she might not be like i said this is very biased she might not be that active on twitter or her audience isn't that active on twitter where mine is a little more active but still the fact that i have just under like a fifth of the amount of subscribers that she has and, and we beat her we beat and that that result was looks like it was 85.1 to 14.9 so that one was like that one was astronomical in terms of the in terms of us moving on to the next round considering that she has a much larger subscriber count and then two lit mafia that two lit mafia is someone that i was going to assume that i was going to lose to because he has 14.1k followers on twitter so obviously he's active on twitter and then he has 456,000 subscribers on youtube which is just over like more than a quarter more than four times the subscriber that I have and we and we moved on and advanced past him 71.9 to 28.1 percent I didn't expect to make it past that round right there that was round three and then in the quarterfinal we went up against Stevie Knight who obviously has a bigger subscriber we started around the same time but his subscription has just gone through the roof with Stevie I thought that I was gonna I thought that I was going to move past him and I assumed right and it's not because of anything like to him and like I, I fuck with Stevie I subscribed to him but he he's not active on Twitter. And I'm assuming because he's not active on Twitter, and he only has like a thousand, one, 1,700 followers on Twitter compared to the 200 plus thousand subscribers on YouTube. So because this was a Twitter poll, I assumed I was gonna beat him, but still. And then next up after that, we had Dwayne Jackson. It's Dwayne TV, another person that I thought I was gonna lose to because his following is his following's out the ass too. He's got 11,000 followers on, on, on Twitter. He's got 11,000 followers on Twitter, but I know that he has a big audience on Twitch and I know that he has a big, like he's got a growing audience on YouTube. He's got just shy of 75,000 on his channel. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, he's actually pretty active on Twitter as well so I was assuming that the 11,000 subscribe or followers that he had on Twitter would come to bat for him but he we beat we, we beat and moved past him in this little poll on 64.4 percent to 35.6 and that and that got us to that got us to no life shack in the finals crazy and no life was like tweeting out like yo th this is like this is a dope final and he went on to his community post and was like yo we need to make this a blowout and the reason why this video is being made is because it was not the blowout 
I'm assuming that he thought was was gonna happen and also it wasn't the blowout that I thought was gonna happen I have 178,000 subscribers he has going on 3 million subscribers and he's active on Twitter and on Twitter he has 139 or 130.9 followers homie here is all over the internet he's all over the places where you would expect him to be and he uses them in the way that you would expect to like reach his audience so I thought for sure I thought for sure people were gonna ride for him heavy and he ended up beating me obviously he ended up beating me but it was but I get I got 26% of the vote obviously there's not too many votes it's like 5067 but still 5667 I mean but still yeah to garner 26% whenever the uh whenever the gap in terms of subscribers what is what does that gap even equal let's let's see 178,000 divided by 2.9 million <laughs> so i have 0.06 percent of the following that Shaq has but i still was able somehow to garner 26 percent of the vote on this little poll like like i said it's not really anything too official or anything but that just goes to show how hard our community and this third family like how hard we go for each other and it doesn't even come down to the fact that i was active on twitter why i got that percent of the vote because like i said i knew i was gonna beat like for example uh stevie because he's not active and i am so that was automatically gonna gonna garner me a win right there because my my following is active on twitter Shaq has what he's got 119,000. i got 6,000. for i don't even know what that is but still somehow i was able to garner 26 percent of the vote and that's really why i'm making this video because that just goes to show that like that we're building something for real around here the twitch streams the 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 youtube the vlogs you know i kind of I, I diversify the content as much as possible and and that keeps people and that keeps the family tighter and because the family is tighter and believes in what i'm doing and rides for me and rides for the channel like i'm able to do something like that where everybody expected it to be a blowout everybody expected me to get maybe maybe two or three percent of the vote but i pulled in over a quarter and this right here is no disrespect to Shaq. i'm subscribed to Shaq. i watch his videos i fuck with him you know like Shaq's my boy and i even put this out on a tweet i forgot what i said i said something funny i don't know if he took it as funny because it was kind of a little tongue-in-cheek because that's my personality but all right all right i have it right here so Shaq posted he said people keep saying three mil versus 180 like i didn't grind from the bottom too i was there with Shaq when he had like a hundred thousand subscribers so i know that the boy grinded from the bottom so i quote tweeted that G GG's my guy, it's all love and you're my bro. It ain't all that serious to me, it's just fun. Knew you were gonna take it, but still, not too bad. And then this is the tongue in cheek comment that I posted. I said, you still the king. Da 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 da, ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Just make sure you watch the throne. <laughs> but yeah, just crazy. All that to say, like again, I, I put it on my vlog in my in my in my uh, in my vacation vlog about how like how how grateful I am for y'all guys because of shit like this. First, y'all ride with me on the channel when I knew that the videos were longer than most. Second, y'all ride with the channel when, after, when it was a breakdown. When really, I think I think at the time that I made my channel, the only other breakdown channel that was out there that I knew of, the only other breakdown channel I knew at that point when i decided that this was the route that i was gonna go was script work i think i think even Shaq was still doing breakdowns if i'm not mistaken but y'all rode for me for the longer videos y'all rode for me for the different artist trains that we went on y'all rode for me whenever we decided to go 21 pilots and then we switch up the genre every once in a while and then my job obviously you know the story that my job basically forced me to go youtube and and i didn't have that means at the time so i was gonna have to quit i was gonna have to quit youtube and then y'all rode for me even bigger and allowed me to go full time and then I make the Twitch account and then I'm getting you know my concurrent viewers I hit affiliate like that and we're right we're one step away from partner and then on top of that y'all write for me on Twitter and then and then y'all y'all get hype for me when an artist like Logic follows me or, or retweets me or NGK Andy Minio like all these different things like the community the numbers on my channel we grow at such a slower rate and at times obviously as you can assume me being as competitive as I am that that frustrates the fuck out of me it frustrates me that we grow at a slower rate especially with at least in, in what i consider in terms of my audio and visual quality to be like one of the best on youtube not to mention the pace of the videos because of the editing and then we do other things outside of reactions like we grow at a slower rate so obviously it's a little frustrating at times but when we actually do grow it's like it, we're building a legitimate community it's not gonna be people that just like click on the sub button and then never watch the community on youtube 
YouTube, the community on Instagram, the community on Twitch, like everything is strong, so dope. And that's really all that I wanted to say is that like, everybody of course is gonna say they have the best community, but if you look at just the way that y'all ride for me, I personally statistically believe that we have the best family and community. And I just wanted to come in and thank y'all. Obviously, like I said, the Twitter poll doesn't mean anything, but it was still dope to me. It was, it's, even though I lost, it was still a victory in the long run. But I appreciated all the Twitter followers, everybody that rode for me on Twitter. It, it means a lot to me. It was super cool to see. I was like voting and I was like tweeting from, from vacation in, in, in Cozumel and Playa de Carmen. I was just like, I was glued to my phone for this because it was intense for me. It was intense and it didn't mean anything, but it meant everything. But that's it. Back to the normal grind. Like I said, we're gonna be doing more reviews. We're gonna we're switching up the we're switching up the content style on YouTube a little bit. We're also gonna be doing more vlogs. We're gonna do commentary. Twitch is still full steam ahead. Obviously, that's a bar because of steam. But back to normal content. I just wanted to say, love me some third fam, yo. Peace.